Hey everyone, Esther here. Today we're diving into an important topic, what should you do with your graphics card drivers, how do you install them correctly, and should you update them at all, which version should you choose, and is it even necessary to make a choice. I'm making this video because there's a lot of confusion surrounding this topic. People go to great length to find the perfect driver, the one that offers the best latency, FPS, smoothness, and other performance metrics. Let me tell you up front, the solution is simpler than you might think, and I'll gradually unfold my thesis as we go through the video. Just so you know, we also do provide computer optimization services. We work with players such as Monacy, and additionally, here's a list of other well-known professional players from our portfolio. So if you're tired of endless problems with your computers, such as low FPS, high input lag, and you want a perfectly tuned system for your specific tasks, you can just create a ticket in our Discord or message me on Twitter. All the links, of course, will be in the description. First off, many people try to reinstall their current driver with an older version, expecting it to have less bloatware, telemetry, and other unwanted features. While there is some logic to this, the reality is that a lot of games just won't start with an older version, and the difference in terms of performance is negligible at best. There's also a second group of people who constantly update their drivers to the latest version. I have to say that both approaches are fundamentally flawed, and here's why. When it comes to bloatware and telemetry, they are actually quite easy to remove from the driver using programs like NVIDIA Slimmer or NVIDIA Install. I'll show you how to do this later on. And the latest versions usually have numerous bugs and issues which NVIDIA didn't have time to address or aren't aware of at the moment. I want to touch an interesting point here. Yes, it is true that each driver version can make your game feel different in terms of smoothness, responsiveness, and objective FPS numbers. So why is that? To understand this, I'll demonstrate something simple that you've probably all seen before, the 3D settings in NVIDIA Control Panel. As you can see, there aren't too many options here, but there is a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector that lets us see virtually all the settings of our current driver. The software sheds light onto some intriguing aspects. For instance, if you download this tool and start tweaking various settings, you will quickly notice that each adjustment affects how the game feels, and there's of course an explanation for it. It is important to note that depending on the driver version, the settings and their parameters will differ. So if you install an older driver version, the frame rate limiter mode might have a different value, which will undoubtedly make your game feel different. Each setting in this menu has its own priority. For example, if you set it to limiter V2, the frame rate limiter will aim to minimize latency as much as possible. Choosing a different value might increase your FPS and uh, consequently improve smoothness, but again, it could be at the expense of input lag. What I'm trying to convey here is that every setting presented in this menu is a trade-off. It has its pros and cons, and you always have to make a choice. By achieving lower latency, you might compromise on smoothness and vice versa. This is especially logical with the frame rate limiter mode, because any frame rate limiting will inherently increase input lag, but the image will appear more stable, since the FPS is capped at a fixed value. Value. In the end, it is clear that there are tons of driver versions as well as settings and their unique presets. This explains the difference between them. I highly doubt that anyone wants to spend time testing and comparing all of it. I do not either, but this city needs me, so in this video I'll show a comparison of different graphics card driver versions and provide a subjective assessment of the situation. I'll also show you how to correctly uninstall your old driver and install a new one. All tests were conducted using a program called Capframe X. On your screen you can see a comparison of the most popular driver versions. For context, each driver was tested three times to eliminate any margin of error, and the best result out of the three was chosen. After testing each driver, the computer was of course restarted. Additionally, after testing all the drivers, the version 551.23 was retested to rule out a scenario where, because this version was tested first, the shader cache for the benchmark map was somehow already preloaded. As we can see, this driver delivers the best results, giving you more FPS, but most importantly, this benchmark demonstrates how superior is 551 in terms of frame rate stability, giving you the smoothest experience out of all four. So go ahead and install it. If your graphics card obviously supports it, I will leave the link for a driver in the description. Let's begin with uninstalling the current driver. This step is crucial because if you simply install a new one over the old one, the remnants of the previous driver will remain in the registry and overlap with the new one, negatively impacting performance. For this procedure, you'll need to download Display Driver Uninstaller and just follow the steps shown on the screen. After successfully completing all the steps, your driver will be uninstalled. Next, make sure you download the GPU driver and NVIDIA Slimmer from the links in the description to remove any bloatware from the driver before installation. Open NVIDIA Slimmer, locate the downloaded driver within the program, and proceed with the installation by following my steps.
And that's it, you've successfully installed the optimal driver for your system. If you have any additional questions or need further clarifications, feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer each one of them. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.